this. So I got this on 414 2024. It's called Contrasting the Kings. And it has two sections it is Worship the King and The Kings. Got it at 2.55 p.m. Number one, worship the king. All blessings flow to those who worship King Jesus. He is the bestower of justice. He will give good to those who are sanctified, for this is just. He will give appropriate justice to those who seek evil in darkness. Rejoice. The reign of the king of Jesus is very soon. Seek Jesus. Seek truth. Read his story. Read his words. Know my son, Jesus. He is holy. He is ready to come and rescue his own. Jesus, the Christ, is the one and only Messiah. Come, know him. Feel true love and acceptance. Gain the deep peace that only his have. Allow Christ to rule your life. Allow the Holy Spirit to comfort and teach you. Allow his love and and forgiveness to transform you into a new creation. Be of Christ. Be saved from the perils to come. Come now, come quickly. I will protect each one who comes. Come. Number two, three, 11 p.m. Um, in the Hebrew, it is after. In the Greek, it is postponement. So number two, kings. Each of the kings in the club deceitfully intends to take the world throne they agree to a bigger plan by the crafters of the plan but behind the scenes each one has a secret plan to take the throne and rule the world there are no honest men among them all they all serve as carry-on to the false one the adversary the one against me satan himself no kings are deceived into this none each willfully gave their soul to the adversary, that serpent of old, out of greed and of love of power. The evil one spoke to their ears and they did not turn away. No, they leaned in and willfully joined with the liar, the one who launched the mother of Babylon. They serve Satan and the adulteress, the woman of Babylon. They live their lives by the fortune teller's lies. They follow ancient calendars. They use the stars and moon as a guide. Each leader has chosen this and willfully pretends to be another, a more likable person in public. But in private, they are tortured by their choices and hardened to stay in them. See how <coughs> pretends to be both Jewish and Christian? He is neither, he is pagan. He loves Satan, his leader, his king. All of what he does is to deceitfully draw Christians to the slaughterhouse. All of who he is is a mirage, a falsehood. Stay clear of <coughs> for he is cut from the same cloth as his predecessor. <coughs> he was promised a king's position and in all selfishness, he will do anything to anyone to attain it <coughs> feels he will rule the world from Assyria <coughs> feels he will rule the world from the Americas <coughs> feels he will rule from the north <coughs> feels he will rule from the middle <coughs> feels he will rule from Europe <coughs> feels he shall rule from the island <coughs> feels he will rule from the east feels he will rule with his abundance of men. <coughs> is certain he will rule for his false prophets had have told him this is so. All will be tortured. All will be slaves of the Antichrist. All will hate their choices. All will be forced to rule under the Antichrist or die. The Antichrist will wildly change all of the dynamics. For small moments, each king will rise up with their own strength and try to take control over the rest. Bombs will fly, laws will be enforced, borders will be crossed. Each king aiming at their moment to try and take over the world. The men who work hard every day taking care of self and family, these are the pawns in the game. To the kings, all men under their care are cannon fodder expendable pawns in a larger game between kings the only safe place is in me 
I keep my own safe through all situations. Those who are saved and sanctified, those who seek me, those who lay the risks at my feet and allow and expect me to protect and provide. My miracles are about to explode. Be in me. Look forward to the only true King, the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ. Rejoice and come. There is a safety plan. There is a way out of the crazy maze of horrors the kings have planned. Be warned. Come to me. Be in my peace. These are the verses that I was um, pressed to share with you. First Chronicles 16, 8 through 36. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him. Sing psalms to him. Talk of his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works, which he has done. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Israel, his servant. You children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever. The word which he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath to Isaac and confirmed it to Jacob for a statute to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as the allotment of your inheritance. When you were few in number, indeed, very few and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another and from one kingdom to another people, he permitted no man to do them wrong. Yes, he rebuked the kings for their sakes, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among the peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is also to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and gladness are in his place. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him, all the earth. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. And let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea roar in all of its fullness. Let the fields rejoice and all that is in it. Then the trees of the woods shall rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. And say, save us, O God, of our salvation. Gather us and deliver us from the Gentiles to give thanks to your holy name, to triumph in your praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people said, Amen, and praised the Lord. So I hope you find that encouraging, and I'll see you next time.